November 2021 feels like a long time ago now for a multitude of reasons, but the main one for us is that this was a time when Forza Horizon 5 felt exciting and fun to play. Fast forward just six months and one of the flagship Xbox Game Pass titles already feels stale and empty. Epic battles across the Mexican map have turned into, well, repeated races across the Mexican map. Everything feels very copy and paste, with very little new content to keep players coming back. What has happened to Playground Games' title that was so well reviewed on release? I'm Mark from Racing Games and today I'm here to ask a very sombre question. Is Forza Horizon 5 dead already? It's not even been out for a year yet and already players are starting to drift away. Last week I asked when the promised expansions were coming to Forza Horizon 5, but the truth is it might already be too late to save the game. Forza Horizon 5's hype before launch focused on all the shiny visuals of the Mexican map. From dust storms to shimmering oceans and dense jungles, it was a visual feast and to be fair to Playground Games, they have delivered on that. The map is just gorgeous. Everywhere you go, the views are incredible, the landmarks are fascinating and personally, I never tire of watching storms tear through the landscape in the distance. This really does feel like a world that draws on the cultural heritage of Mexico and that's something we can admire about the game. The other promises, like improved car models and a plethora of events to take part in, uh, yeah, about that. When you peel the pre-release hype away, what players have been left with was what everyone feared for, a reskin of Forza Horizon 4. In fact, I've been using footage of both games in this video and I bet there are a few of you out there who haven't even noticed. Now this is nothing new for seasoned Horizon players. The original game struck gold with its formula of open world adventuring in cars of your dreams, but Forza Horizons 2 and 3 didn't do much to innovate off of that, only expanding with better off-road performance. Forza Horizon 4 introduced the seasonality of the map, however the basic premise remained the same. It was this game that saw a huge explosion in the popularity of the series, thanks mostly to the weekly challenges and of course the Xbox Game Pass. This new audience, along with day one Game Pass availability, is what fueled the early success of Forza Horizon 5. But it looks like the newer Horizon fans have discovered what older ones already knew. These games don't change much. Once you've explored the new map and smashed the bonus boards, there really isn't that much left to do. One of the key aspects of Horizon games is social play. Be that convoying races with friends or playing silly games like hide and seek within the map. It's what kept Forza Horizon 4 alive for so long. Unfortunately, social play was basically broken on release of Forza Horizon 5. While patches have since arrived to fix these issues, the convoy system is still slow to connect and worryingly unstable for a lot of players. I've lost count of the number of times I've been booted from a convoy for no reason, and each time it does that, it just gets that little bit more frustrating. Then there is the fact that Forza Horizon 5 did not bring any new modes, race types, or really anything in the way of new gameplay mechanics. Sure, there are blueprints in the event lab for those talented and dedicated creators to go to work on, but they are buried in menus and practically hidden to casual players when it comes to participating in them. Add the fact that races against the AI have the same rubber banding issues as the last game and you have a game that feels shallow, empty and rather lifeless. And then there's FOMO, or the fear of missing out to you and I. Before we move on, have you subscribed to Racing Games yet? Just one click and you're on the Racing Games grid. Oh, and hit that notification bell too so you never miss an upload. Alright, on with the video. Players don't have a lot to do in Forza Horizon 5 anymore, with the main reason to return regularly being to avoid missing out on seasonal rewards. With cars like the Ferrari Testarossa only available as seasonal reward cars, players have to come back to the game at specific times if they want to add these to their garage and not lose out on them. It makes players begrudgingly log on to play, rather than picking up the game because they enjoy it and want to blast around the map. It's not just Forza Horizon 5 that does this. Gran Turismo 7 has a similar mechanic with its super expensive legend cars, inducing players to grind races repeatedly for credits to buy a car that is only available for a short amount of time. This just adds to player burnout and frustration. This isn't a fun way to grind and definitely isn't a fun way to play. When players feel forced to return to a game just to unlock a certain reward, 
there's little to no incentive to return once all the rewards have been unlocked, and therein lies the biggest problem with Forza Horizon 5. With no new content coming soon, unless we're all in for a big surprise of course, there's very little to keep those who have completed their car lists coming back. And that leads back to my question, is Forza Horizon 5 dead? Well the clickbait answer is definitely yes, but in truth, no, it's not. While current player numbers are not promising, with almost as many players still on Forza Horizon 4 on Steam, there is still some hope for Forza Horizon 5. Like we reported last week, we know there are at least two expansions coming to the game which will bring new areas to explore and challenges to complete. There is also the promise of more cars landing via the car pass and series updates. These may see players return to the game, but without fresh modes and more stable social play, it is hard to see Forza Horizon 5 having the longevity and quality of experience that Forza Horizon 4 had. We also know that Forza Horizon 6 is already in the works. With Forza Motorsport bringing changes to the overall physics engine, there is some hope that Forza Horizon 6 will deliver a fresh experience, but until that lands, players shouldn't get their hopes up just yet. Before I end this video, I do want to quickly offer my two cents on Forza Horizon 5. When playing single player, I do find the game to be just that little bit bland. The racing experience isn't bad in my opinion, but driving from race to race just gets a bit samey after a while. Likewise with the game's story, the actual events can be fun, if a little repetitive, but the driving to and from each chapter does feel a bit boring. Placing events far apart across the map seems like a good idea on paper, but when following the story one after the other, it seems a bit forced to have two related races tens of miles apart. Multiplayer however is a completely different game. Convoying with your friends adds a whole new layer to the game. The drives are the same, but now you have your racing buddies alongside you, racing from event to event. You can show off your cars, laugh at your mishaps, and just enjoy the game for what it was meant to be. Hopefully the expansions build on the single player side of the game more, with additional story events and vehicles, but at the same time, I would love to see more on the multiplayer side too, as that's the reason I look forward to playing Forza Horizon 5 more than anything else. So no, I don't think Forza Horizon 5 is dead, but it definitely needs some kind of life support to convince players to keep coming back. But that's just what I think. Do you think Forza Horizon 5 is dead, or do you think it's just fine as it is? Let us know in the comments below. For now though, thanks for watching. I've been Mark from Racing Games, please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video, and now it's time for another round of Capture the Flag in the Mexican Desert. This time I will get the flag. I will.